Welcome to my channel, Capricorn. This is Frankie from Frankie's Tarot, and this is your February 2024 weekly tarot read-in. Going to take a look at your general in love energies, the current person on your mind, and any new potential coming your way, plus a message for you and each zodiac sign Aries through Pisces. And I'll do a bonus yes, no card pull at the end. So make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You know, it does help my channel grow. And let's take a look at your energy this week. You have the magician overall energy so this seems to already start a good week for you when it comes to manifesting right it means you have the tools you have everything in alignment everything is at your fingertips it's just about you know taking action there's so much potential this week when you have the magician the magician says you know that where there's a will there's a way you'll find it you'll figure it out bring your bring your thoughts down to reality if you're pondering on things or you're kind of hanging back, you know, um, you know, wishing for something to change or happen, this is going to be a week where you can really make things happen. Uh, really evaluate in situations where you're feeling stuck, where you're feeling insecure, where you're feeling, you know, I need to make change, right? This is a good week for that, right? A lot of potential, but it's going to be about you actually taking action towards your goals, Ace of Swords, all right, your energy, seeing clearly, all right, some news may be coming in around you or some thoughts. Sometimes when I get the Ace of Swords, that's knowledge drops. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And I see clearly now, all right, this is clearing away any kind of distractions in your life. There could be quite a few happening with everything around the world and, and other people in your ear and stuff like this. And the Ace of Swords is breaking away it's a breakthrough it's like i don't I, i'm listening to everybody around me i'm listening to all my negative thoughts i'm listening to all the what is the shoulda coulda what is right the ace of swords says i'm clearing that away i'm focused this week and I'm, i have a pretty clear direction on what it is that i need to do so if you feel like over the past week or so you have been feeling kind of you know what do i do blah blah, blah. you know this week is going to be clarity for you this can be an energy of some new thought coming into the way of your way of thinking. All right. You may see things from a different perspective this week. You may find that you're seeing like solutions um, and you're having ideas and being like, why didn't I think of this before? You know, it's part of the shifts that I think we're going through too right now, where you might start to realize also with the magician card that you have been seeing things a certain way. So things have been manifested in your life a certain way, but now you're starting to see it from another point of view and you're realizing maybe this week how your thoughts really do create your reality. This can be a sign of good news coming in for you this week. This could be um, you getting that clarity or sign, it's also signing documents and stuff. So this could be a good week for you to, to do that as well, finalize things or get that information that you need to move on from something. Um, so it, the truth, it's all about the truth. So again, I see your obstacle um, and opportunity. I should just pull all the cards at once because that's basically everything I just said. The five of swords can be a lot of stress on us. It can be confusion because we can't seem to see our truth, right? But you have the ace of swords with the five of swords makes the six of swords, which means seeing clearly and moving on towards calmer waters. So this is a week where you can break through any kind of frustration, any kind of mental stress, any kind of, um, if you're, if you just can't seem to find solutions to certain issues in your life, this is going to be a week where you can really see clearly, All right? I see the three of cups. What's coming towards you is some sort of celebration. It's time. It's time to maybe celebrate. Don't hold yourself back. Uh, you could be getting invited somewhere to be hanging out with some friends. You could meet somebody. You could be invited to go on a date. You might get some good news, All right? The good news could be um, an invitation or it could be that um, that letter of acceptance and or get in your home, things like that, that you're finally, so you may find yourself celebrating um, being around p new people or being around connections this week and, and talking about th um, this, this new um, happiness that has come into your life, All right? The Three of Cups can talk about deepening friendships, deepening connections. There could be a lot around relationships this week and maybe, you know, the five of swords was 
you know, I can't seem to see eye to eye with someone. I can't find a solution when it comes to my relationships. It seems it's intense or we're arguing or we just butt heads or, you know, there's just, I don't know where I stand with it's, you know, all the, all the typical confusing type of energies that come up when in regards to relationships. And this can be any relationship. It doesn't have to be just romantic relationship. Well, this week can show seeing things from a different perspective or seeing, seeing things, um, from their perspective, but also, like I said, you just see be having this aha moment where maybe you're actually figuring out what the real problem is in this situation. And the Three of Cups shows an opportunity to be happy, to celebrate, to kind of come together and connect and feel like you're on the same page with, with your relationships this week, right? But there's always the flip side to that, which is your obstacle, the Five of Swords, um, which can be you know, still arguing and at what cost, you know, I mean, to, to continue down that, you know, blaming, you know, yelling, screaming, arguing, or just, you know, remaining uncertain and not trusting um, and, and just being overwhelmed or overthinking, right? That path can lead to, you know, walking away, right? Or feeling like, you know, you're going to give up. And so, and this is going to be a good opportunity this week to, really pull through in some of the relationships that are really close to you and to deepen them. What does spirit want you to know? The temperance card. All right. So patience is always the first word that comes up for me when I see the temperance card. The word temperance, you know, this is a harmony. This is a balance in your life. This is your life starting to restore balance or wanting to. There's some areas in your life maybe that feel out of balance. And naturally, your body, your life, your spirit wants to be in balance. And so things are beginning to, to slowly unfold for you. This could be the time where it is very important for you to take a look at where is your life out of balance? I mean, and being honest with yourself, you know, am I not focusing enough on my health? Am I not focusing on, you know, and, and health is mental, physical, spiritual, right? Am I not, you know, given to a situation as much as I, I could be, or am I given too much? Where is your life out of balance, right? The temperance card is when we're not in harmony in our own lives, when we're not, you know, feeling like we're, we're, you know, we're, we're, you know, and harmony doesn't mean, you know, that you always have everything perfect. You, you, you know, you have one foot on the ground here, but you're maintaining and balancing all the aspects of yourself. This is how your life comes into harmony. You start to come into alignment with people who also balance you out in ways, you know, when you're going this way too much, they pick up that and, you know, it works as a team. This could be a good week to restore balance to your relationships, but also mainly, most importantly, yourself, all right? This is also a reminder that, you know, you're right where you're meant to be, all right? So take a look at the moment you're in and just focus, do a little self-reflection, all right? Things are unfolding for you. So if some of you are getting impatient with where, where, why is it not here yet? Why, you know, this is the time when we do the, the work. We do the work. Everybody hears that word in the spiritual community, work, do the work. What kind of work? Self-reflection, focusing and becoming more self-aware on yourself and your habits and what's holding you back, your limiting beliefs, your traumas, your triggers. All right, it's a good starting spot, right? The temperance card is saying that things are a beginning for you, so you may be noticing some changes this week. And you, like I said, with the Ace of Swords, breaking through, a major breakthrough. And the whole Pluto and Aquarius thing for me is we're all shifting into a new era and some are going to stay stuck in the old ways and just kind of die off in that old way where the, the rest of us who are, who are just allowing this shift to come in and we're trying to find peace and harmony, we're going to move on into this new world. And so to some of you, you might be going, that sounds esoteric or foo-foo or whatever, but I believe it's true. All right, so the temperance card, bringing your life into balance. All right, new beginning with the magician card, which means, you know, the fool hits the magician. The magician says, you know, you have all the tools, the skills, the knowledge, the experiences from your past to make what you want. What do you dream about? What do you want to create? You have the potential to create. Bring your 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 inner world, bring your as above, so below, bring it out, bring it to bring it to reality. Right, you have the tools to manifest and bring your dreams to reality. All right, let's see. Love for you. 
get a split love message. Ooh, a love message for my Capricorns. A love bond will grow stronger over time. And that's that temperance card too as well. So for many of you, you are currently connecting to somebody or relationships that may be the five of swords, right? And this is a week to, you know, like I said, kind of figure out or see things from a different perspective. But love will grow stronger over time and not rushing things and not being impatient with that temperance card um, is also a sure way to make sure that you're going, you, you know, that this is your person. This is, you know, this person is, is, is valuable to you and, val and you're val valuable to them. I can't get my words out for some reason. But you rush things or you um, fight things or you break things off too quickly you know, you don't have a chance. You don't give a, you don't give yourself or another person a chance. You obviously are looking for a bond that is really strong. And that is one that takes time. And I do see that for many of you with this card, you know, just remembering that, that these things shall pass. And the Ten of Cups always comes with, you know, little obstacles in relationships that, that, you know, bring us closer together, right? So let's see who's coming towards you that you already are connected with or know um, in your life. The second, I'll pull some cards afterwards to see somebody coming towards you that you don't know yet. Or maybe just connected with. The Knight of Swords flew out. So you've got somebody focused on you, um, the Knight of Swords. This is always my fun guy, my fun girl, the quick, smart, smart ass, right? But, you know, they come in pretty quick. They say things pretty quickly. They may have said something. They may have um, voiced their opinion. Um Things may have things may be moving fast with this person, or it was moving fast with this person, but their their intentions, you know, I, I see the world card as the obstacle and opportunity here. Things may have moved pretty fast with this person and ended pretty quickly. All right. But also the world card shows a new chapter coming in. So let's see how this person views you. The strength card. There's that bond that grows stronger over time. All right. So you got a Leo energy, uh, you have fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and you also have air energy, all right? Um, this is somebody that moves fast, all right? This is definitely somebody that um, everything may have seemed like it, they were saying the right things, everything was perfect, or, or they always have the right thing to say, you know, and then the world card can show that something may have came to an end, you know, it, it, it came in fast and then it left fast. That's one of the fastest nights you know, the knight of the swords and wands. Um, and it may have, you may have lost your shit or you may have got mad. You may have gotten angry with this person. Maybe they hurt your pride. Um, maybe they, uh, you know, they got you to lose it. And then now you're kind of having to regain your composure. All right. It does show the world card an opportunity, though, for a new chapters to come in. And look at this, the Knight of Wands. All right. So I'm clarifying the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Wands. You are dealing with somebody who is fast paced and excited and adventurous and very passionate and very lustful and has a lust for life and fun. This is the fun. You know, we, we had this conversation in, in my, one of my lives and it was, um, you know, I've been this person, all right, this wild ride, right, you know, come in, you know, it doesn't mean that I, I, I love to commit, I love, I love to commit, but I'm also very passionate signs, so um, things happen, you get attached, you get addicted to that intensity, right, you love that about a person, right, but that once that dies out, boredom kicks in, all right, and that's why you cannot confuse chemistry and lust for love and commitment, you just can't. You've got to maintain composure. If you really want this person, right, the strength card, confidence is key, right? You know, if you chase after somebody like this, that, that's just more of a chase. That's more of a, you know, Woo, okay, you're going to chase after me. I'm going to keep running, right? But it looks as though for many of you with confidence and clarity on, you know, with this, 
This is something that can last. This is something, you know, that you, remember, everybody comes into a picture with their own shit, their own baggage, right? And it does seem like there's something about you that they can't stop thinking about the Knight of Swords. So you are getting a strong, and I was thinking Gemini, um, but Cancer, I mean, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. But that's Gemini traits. That's, uh, you know, even air traits, you know. Um, and it's they may be thinking twice about um, ending things with you the more you maintain your confidence and the more you stand in your power, all right? Um, they definitely find you very attractive with that strength card. Um, and very strong and willing, you know, maybe you're the one that can tame this one, right? But don't get caught up in that. Uh, I'm going to be the one to tame them if you're chasing, all right? Because chasing shows lack of confidence, all right? So this is somebody, let's see the possible potential. I do see the 10 of pentacles. So I am seeing potential here to work through and, um, and, and a commitment maybe possibly coming in. So there is, you know, it depends on, you know, patience with this, with this type of relationship. And I say that, you know, and I, I can hear all your comments. I've been doing this too long, right? I can hear your perspectives and, and what you're going to, you know, some of you going to say, but the thing is, is that it, if you can't let go of this person, then you, you can't beat them. You got to, you know, I mean, if you, if you want to get them, you got to play the game basically. And if you're saying you're not playing games, then let go of them. Because if you're chasing them, you're, they're playing the game, they're winning. And if you want them to come back in, you've got to main, maintain confidence and composure and, um, and prove your worth in a sense, right? Because this is somebody that can move on quickly and, and is addicted to passion, addicted to lust. And the other thing I was going to say, you, if this is resonating with you, you're attracted to that kind of energy. You like this energy. And it could be a pattern for you to constantly find yourself in relationships with people like this who excite you. And so instead of getting caught on the karmic wheel, jump off it and have confidence and get them to come chasing you. All right. So that's what I have to say about that. Let's see new person potential. New person potential. That Knight of Wands wants to fall out again. So there could be an Aries Leo Sag coming your way. All right. We have the Three of Pentacles. All right. So you may be an Earth sign too. But you definitely have a connection coming in. It could be somebody you work with. Um, somebody who, who has the same shared common goals. All right. So you guys may have a lot in common. All right. I do see the devil. So there's going to be quick sexual attraction. All right. Um, with the devil card and the three of pentacles, it could be somebody that you, you just see who fits perfect into your life. Right. And you want it to work out. And it could be somebody who gives to it at first and then pulls away their, their effort. All right. So be careful of that Capricorn. They definitely have their eyes on you, but it's sexual attraction. Uh, with the devil card showing up here. Five of cups, all right? They could easily piss you off, easily make you mad. And, but the thing is, is with this card, I always see your person standing behind you regretting it, all right? So it's somebody who is, knows that they you're emotional or knows that you got attached with that devil card. And it could be somebody who just knows that what they do and it could be a habit. And um, maybe you're the one that can help them break this bad habit. Um, we don't fix other people. We just become stronger in ourselves. And like I said, with that um, strength card, know your strength, right? It could This person may slow down fast enough to, to realize that you could be somebody very special in their life. All right, because the three of pentacles is here and it shows that the two of you really have a lot in common and you could end up building something. Um, you have no idea what other people are dealing with before they come into your life. 
but that's why we slow down and we allow relationships to kind of play out. And um, but this person, it seems as though they may come in, trigger you. There may be sexual attraction, and they may they may hurt you in some way emotionally because they pull away. And and believe me, they're pulling away, but they're waiting to see your response because the things that I don't think they really want to. And I know that's going to be you got a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right, so what that sounds like to me is somebody who, as they get closer to somebody, pulls away, and it becomes like a little bit of a game, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And this is where I'm just going to say um, it's going to be discernment for you, and it's going to be self-control for you, and it's going to be paying attention to red flags because there are some people that do that, out of fear or trust issues, but they're worth the getting to know for a little bit. If it doesn't improve, that is where you pull away and you have so you have to take care of yourself first. All right. So I know that that's probably <coughs> not, you know, the best thing you want to hear Capricorn, but it's reality. All right. It's not like everybody has Prince Charming or Princess Charming coming in every single time. And I know this because, it, you know, our, the readings and the channel. So that's what I have for you. Let's see the potential of Aries through Pisces. Okay. Aries through Pisces. Aries. Aries is focused on their status, their monies, their future. They're definitely somebody to, to snag. Um, they're definitely looking for commitment, looking for long term. Um, it's their end game. It's their end goal. Um, you may find that you're in competition with their ambitions. Taurus, the devil. Right, Taurus may trigger you. Taurus is sexual attraction between you and a Taurus. But again, there could be that energy I was just pulling up, you know, where there's going to be a push pull, push pull type of energy. And it's a matter of patience or making a decision. Do I want to do this or not? Um, Gemini, Ace of Swords. I mean, Ace of Wands. So something sparking up between you and a Gemini. They're definitely fascinated by you. Uh, cancer, four cups. Cancer doesn't know what they want. All right. They're still kind of moping around and feeling stuck in a situation. All right. They, they either can't let go of something, um, or they, they don't believe that anything's going to change. Leo, the world card. So something could have came to an end with a Leo. Um, this chapter is closing. So anything is possible at this point with a Leo, um, but the old chapter has closed. They want to close the door on whatever situation has happened. Virgo, page of cups. So Virgo's fallen in love. All right. Virgo still has uh, feelings for you and, and wants to communicate. Libra, the temperance card. Another one of these Libra air energy where patience and allowing things to unfold naturally and making sure everything is in harmony and balance. Scorpio, the sun card, you and Scorpio uh, falling in love, a lot of romance. Um, there could be a date coming in uh, or expression or just having fun together. Sagittarius, queen of materials, they're focused on their status. They're focused on money. They're focused on their independence right now. Um, Capricorn, six of pentacles. So Capricorn, you're looking for somebody who, you know, is fair. Equal, give and take. Another Capricorn could be a perfect match for you. Aquarius, Knight of Wands. So Aquarius coming in pretty fast, all right? So they're coming in with that speedy Gonzalez, fast, passion, lust, and it may confuse you at first. Pisces, the lover's card. So you and a Pisces, deep love connection, a possibility of forming something beautiful here with that lover's card. Let's see yes or no for Capricorn. Yes or no. Think of your question. The answer is no. All right. So 
don't let that sting you. Just know that the next seven days, that's something that's on your mind may not pan out exactly how you want it to. But um, if you if the no hit hard, maybe you already know it's your no, right? That's the only way it's a no is if it's really truly your no. If it's not a no, you're going to say, hell, hell, no, it's not a no. It's going to be a yes, and you're going to make it happen. But it could just mean that this week it might not turn out the way you expect it to, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. So I love you guys, and take care. Remember, you are in charge. The cards are just to help you self-reflect. Take care, guys.